Oh, good morning, Mr. Invincible. Where am I? In your cage, where every lab rat belongs. Oh, and before you even try escaping, you might want to consider you're hooked up to enough waters to drop an elephant. Who are you? Just someone who's interested in how you possess superhuman powers. Powers? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on, Lex! We both know you were the one at the Pentagon, swatting away those bullets like they were mosquitoes. And not even a scratch. Yeah, see, we... We saw it on the only working satellite on Dark Thursday. So... We know you have the powers. Just kind of want to know how you got them. My people are already on to you. Your people. I think that's the guy I caught kind of roaming around outside. Funnies, right? The guy downstairs with a bullet in his head. Enough foreplay. All right? Let's get this started. You're going to tell me everything. you I am no chicken little and that is no acorn whoa now how is that even remotely conceivable the Kents live miles away from okay it's definitely weird I'll give you that but it's not wall of weird it's called a microburst a micro what it's like a sudden mini tornado it happens when there are extreme changes in the temperature it's, it's actually not that unheard of in the Midwest it was sunny in 75. There was nothing extreme about the weather. Well, you might not have felt it. I mean, it was probably in the upper atmosphere, but there must have been some sort of change in the barometric pressures. Okay, either you've been watching a little too much Weather Channel or a year at the Daily Planet has turned you into a hardened skeptic. It's called being realistic, Lois. You might want to try it once in a while. You were the one who always told me that science can explain only a fraction of what happens in this crazy town. And this happens to fall into that fraction. Look, Lois, I still believe in the paranormal. Trust me. But you have to accept the fact that sometimes the answers you're looking for are no further away than the front pages of your Scientific American. What are you doing with the gun? We were specifically told not to use violence. So? I don't answer to anybody, okay? Especially your boss. And what I want to know is how bullets bounced off his body like ping pong balls. And information like that is very valuable on the open market. You were specifically hired. Yeah, well, to... guess what? I'm an entrepreneur, okay? So either you join my newest venture, or you can end up like the Pontius guy. Good choice. Hey, Lex! Yeah, I was thinking, why don't we, uh, try a little experiment? What are you doing? I told you I don't remember any of it happening. Yeah, but it did. And I want to see it happen again. Please, no. No. 